Hey everybody, we had a particular nomad here that I don't, I'm not supposed to talk about anymore. <laughs> she shall go unnamed. But we had a very interesting uh, controversy there. She was camping in her minivan uh, and she made a bed in the back and she showed right next to the bed was a lead acid car battery, okay, that she was using to power, I believe she said her air conditioner or refrigerator, I forget. But anyway, and then she got a lot of comments, she said in her comment stream, basically telling her that it's dangerous to have a lead acid battery in the passenger compartment of a vehicle because they can outgas certain toxic gases and can be very dangerous. You know, now most of the batteries we do see here among the nomads are, you know, the lithium type batteries. They do outgas sometimes, but the lithium is apparently not anywhere near as dangerous as the lead acid. According to a website called Good For Gas, I looked it up, goodforgas.com, goodforgas.com, uh, uh, yeah, uh, sulfuric acid is what is in a lot of those batteries, and it says if you smell the rotten egg odor of uh, sulfuric acid in the charging area, you should assume this is very dangerous and there should be dangerous gases a possibility. You should leave the area and use a gas detecting instrument with an H25 or an H2S sensor. I guess that's H, is that a 5 or an S? H2S sensor to confirm uh, whether gas is present. Now you do find lead, adder, lead, battery, as, lead acid battery charging in places like garages, fire stations, uh, you know, places where they have boats and stuff where lead acid batteries are used, but they're usually industrial type situations. They usually have pretty good ventilation. You know, people aren't there sleeping next to the batteries, okay? And uh, yeah, so they said, uh, the most common reaction byproducts, especially if a battery is overcharged or overheating, can be sulfuric acid, H2SO4, and hydrogen and sulfur and sulfur dioxide. Now, hydrogen gas is what caused, you know, the uh, the, the, the blimp. Remember that dirigible there? <laughs> Hindenburg. But that was they were using, the Germans used hydrogen gas instead of helium in their dirigible at, you know, uh, there, there at the Hindenburg there when it blew up there in uh, New Jersey there way back in the 30s. So yeah, you know, these are, de these are not good gases to be breathing in if they're outgassing from a battery. So the general consensus is if you have a lead acid battery, use it outside, use it in the compartment, your engine compartment, that's fine. But to have one in your living space can be very dangerous. And uh, this particular uh, nomad did not seem to be terribly concerned about it. Uh, and actually was kind of, uh, seemed like she was a bit angry at some of her uh, commenters for pointing out that particular danger. So, I don't know. But it is true. You know, lead acid batteries, be very careful with them. Don't put them in, you know, your living compartment, in your car or your vehicle. They can be dangerous uh, if they overheat and start outgassing serious deadly chemicals or gases. All right, that's just uh, what we're talking about here right on the Camo Dave channel. Be safe. Some else to worry about when you're out there on the road living simply in your vehicle. Quote, unquote. Flag under.